Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to build a regression tree for the given data set with the help of a simple solved example. Decision tree is a powerful supervised machine learning algorithm to solve classification problem. Whenever the given data set has the discrete possibilities, then we can easily apply the decision tree and then we can solve the given problem. But uh, in this case, so we have been given a data set with four attributes. The target attribute has the real numbers in this case. So we cannot apply the basic uh, decision tree algorithms like ID3 and C4.5 to build a decision tree here. So in this case, we need to build something known as the regression trees over here. Now the question comes in front of us is uh, how to build the regression trees. To build a regression trees, uh, first we need to calculate the standard deviation for the whole data set. Next, we need to calculate a reduction in standard deviation for each of these four given attributes. And then uh, based on the reduction in standard deviation, we need to select one of the attribute as a root node and then we need to start building the tree here. So first we will calculate the standard deviation for the whole data set. To calculate the standard deviation, first we need to calculate the average here. The average is the addition of all these numbers divided by the total number of examples that is 14 here, which is equivalent to 39.78 here. Now we will calculate the standard deviation. Standard deviation is equivalent to square root of the actual value that is uh, 25 minus uh, the average that is 39.78 bracket square. Second one is uh, 30 minus 39.78 bracket square and so on. The last one is 30 here. So 30 minus 39.78 bracket square divided by 14 that is the total number of examples. So the standard deviation for the whole data set is equivalent to 9.32 in this case. Now once you calculate the standard deviation for the whole data set, we need to calculate the standard deviation for the individual attributes and later we need to calculate reduction in standard deviation. So first we will consider the first attribute that is outlook. Outlook has three possibilities, sunny, overcast and rain. So we need to divide this data set into three groups where outlook is equal to sunny, outlook is equal to overcast and outlook is equal to rain. And then we need to calculate the uh, standard deviation. Later we need to calculate the weighted standard deviation and then we need to calculate the reduction in standard deviation here. So first we will consider the part of data where outlook is equal to sunny here. There are five examples are there. For these five examples, first we need to calculate the mean here or you can say that the average. Average is nothing but the addition of all these uh, five numbers divided by five because there are five examples are there, which is equal to 35.2 here. Now once you calculate the average, we can calculate the standard deviation for Sun outlook is equal to sunny here, which is equal to square root of actual number that is 25 minus average bracket square that is what I have written here plus 30 minus 35.2 bracket square here. Similarly, I have to do it for all possibilities in this case divided by total number of examples in this case 5 here. So the standard deviation when outlook is equal to sunny that is 7.78. Now we need to consider the second one that is outlook is equal to overcast here. There are four examples are there. For four examples, first we need to calculate the average here. That is average is nothing but addition of all these numbers divided by four here. So that is equal to 46.25. Again, we need to calculate the standard deviation when outlook is equal to overcast. That is equal to square root of the actual number is 46 minus 46.25 bracket square plus 43 minus 46.25 bracket square and so on divided by total number of examples that is four here. The standard deviation when outlook is equal to overcast is uh, 3.49 in this case. Now coming back to the next one that is outlook is equal to rain. There are five examples are there. Again, we need to calculate the mean which is equal to 39.2 and then we need to calculate the standard deviation which is equal to 10.87 here. So we have calculated uh, the standard deviation for all three possibilities. Now we need to calculate the uh, weighted standard deviation here. So these are the standard deviations and the number of instances for each of the possibilities here. The weighted standard deviation for outlook variable is equal to the when outlook is equal to overcast, we have four examples out of 14 examples multiplied by its standard deviation that is 3.49. Next, uh, rain. Whenever outlook is equal to rain, we have five examples out of how many? 14 here again. Its standard deviation is 10.87. When outlook is equal to sunny, we have five examples, 5 by 14, that is total number of examples multiplied by its standard deviation, which is equal to 7.66 in this case. Now, once you calculate the standard deviation for outlook here, we need to calculate reduction in standard uh, 
deviation uh, which is calculated by subtracting this weighted standard deviation from the uh, global standard deviation what we have calculated for the whole data set that is equivalent to 9.32 so 9.32 minus 7.66 which is equivalent to 1.66 so standard deviation reduction for outlook variable is 1.66 in this case now we will consider the second attribute that is temperature again temperature has three possibilities hot mild and cool here so we will consider temperature is equivalent to hot in this case we have four examples first we need to calculate the average and then we need to calculate the standard deviation which is equivalent to 8.95 in this case second time temperature is equivalent to cool here again we have four examples the standard deviation in this case is equivalent to 10.51 over here now coming back to the third possibility that is temperature is equivalent to mild the standard deviation for this possibility is 7.65 in this case so this is the summary for the standard deviation for each uh, possible value of uh, temperature here. Uh, hot is having uh, four instances, mild is having four instances, cool is having six instances. Now the weighted standard deviation for temperature is 4 divided by 14 multiplied by its standard deviation uh, plus 4 divided by 14 multiplied by its standard deviation, 6 by 14 multiplied by its standard deviation which is equal to 8.84 here. The final is standard deviation reduction for temperature is the whole uh, standard deviation or the global standard deviation is 9.32 minus uh, the current uh, standard deviation is 8.84 which is equal to 0.47 here. Now we will consider the next attribute that is humidity. Humidity has uh, two possibilities that is high. For high I have calculated the standard deviation which is equal to 9.36. For normal the standard deviation is equal to 8.73. Again, we have to calculate the weighted standard deviation for humidity, which is equal to 9.04 in this case. Finally, we need to calculate standard deviation reduction for humidity, which is equal to the global standard deviation minus weighted standard deviation for humidity, which is equal to 0.27 here. Coming back to the last attribute that is wind. Wind has two possibilities. One is strong. Whenever wind is strong, the standard deviation is 10.59. Whenever wind is weak, the standard deviation is equal to 7.87 in this case. Again, we need to calculate the weighted standard deviation for wind. That is 6 by 14 multiplied by 10.59. 8 by 14 multiplied by 7.87, which is equal to 9.03 here. So finally, standard deviation reduction for wind is the global standard deviation minus the weighted standard deviation for wind, that is 9.03 which is equal to 0.29 in this case. So we have calculated the standard deviation reduction for all four attributes here. And then we need to compare these standard deviation reduction here. Once you do the comparison, Outlook is having the maximum standard deviation reduction. The meaning of this one is we need to consider Outlook as a root node and then we need to start building the tree here. Now, whenever you consider Outlook as a root node, Outlook has three possibilities that is sunny, overcast and rain. So we need to create three branches here. Whenever Outlook is equal to sunny, we have five examples. Whenever Outlook is equal to overcast, we have uh, four examples. Whenever Outlook is equal to rain, we have uh, five examples again here. Now uh, we need to consider the each of these particular branches and then we need to start building the tree here. Now I will consider Outlook is equal to sunny, that is this uh, subset of data, and then we will start building the tree over here. Now uh, whenever Outlook is equal to sunny, uh, we have already considered outlook we should not consider from here onwards we need to consider uh, the remaining uh, three attributes and then we need to calculate the standard deviation reduction for the, the remaining three attributes the one which is having minimum that will be considered as a root node at this particular place here for that reason uh, first we need to calculate the standard deviation for outlook is equal to sunny how many examples are there five examples are there for this we need to calculate the standard deviation which is equal to 7.78 here. So this is the global standard deviation for uh, the left subtree in this case. Now we need to consider the individual attributes here. I will consider temperature. It has three possibilities. For each of those the three possibilities, we need to calculate the standard deviation. So if you look at here, whenever temperature is equal to hot here, there are th two possibilities. For these two possibilities, I have calculated the standard deviation that is equal to 2.5. Whenever temperature is equal to cool, standard deviation is 0. Whenever temperature is equal to mild, the standard deviation is 6.5 here. 
Now we need to calculate the weighted standard deviation that is equal to 3.6. Finally, we need to calculate standard deviation reduction that is the global standard deviation for the left subtree that is 7.78 minus the weighted standard deviation that is 3.6 which is equal to 4.18 here. Now uh, we have done with uh, the temperature here. We have to continue with the humidity in this case. For this humidity, again we have uh, two possibilities. If you notice here, high and normal. First, I will consider the examples with the humidity is equal to high here, and the standard deviation is 4.08 in this case. Now the second one is humidity is equal to normal. Its standard deviation is 5 in this case. Now we need to calculate the weighted standard deviation, which is equal to 4.45. And the standard deviation reduction is the global standard deviation for the left subtree is 7.78 minus weighted standard deviation is 4.45, which is equal to 3.33 in this case. The last attribute is wind in this case. It has two possibilities that is strong and weak. Whenever wind is equal to strong, the standard deviation is 9 here. Whenever wind is equal to weak, standard deviation is equal to 5.56 in this case. Again, we need to calculate the weighted standard deviation which is equal to 6.93 in this case and the standard deviation reduction is equal to 0.85 in this case. Now, we will do the comparison uh, for all the attributes here, temperature, humidity and wind. The temperature is having the highest standard deviation reduction here. So, for the left subtree, we will consider temperature as the uh, root node in this case. So, whenever I consider temperature here, there are three possibilities, hot, mild and cool here. That is, outlook is equal to sunny, I have considered a temperature here. So, one is uh, cool, another one is hot, another one is mild here. So, whenever it is uh, cool, you can see here, there is only one example. My, uh, hot and mild has two, two possibilities in this case. So, that is what I have written in this case. Now, uh, what we can notice here is, whenever outlook is equal to sunny and temperature is equal to cool, we have only one example and the answer is equal to how much? 38 here. But whenever outlook is equal to sunny and temperature is equal to hot, we have two examples here. We need to start building the tree from here onwards. But the question is, if I start building the tree from here onwards, the decision tree will go into something known as overfitting condition because we have very few examples to build the decision tree here. So, that's the reason we apply something called as the pruning technique. Whenever less than five examples are there, rather than building the decision tree from here onwards, we will take the average of uh, these things that will be considered as the leaf node value in this case. Similarly, for this one also, uh, in this case, 35 plus 48 divided by 2, that will be the answer over here. Over here, 25 plus 30 divided by 2, that will be the answer over here. So, now we have done with uh, the left subtree. Uh, we will go with the subtree where outlook is equal to overcast in this case. Again, when you consider this thing, there are only four examples are there. So, rather than building the decision tree, again, we will apply the pruning technique. We will take the average of uh, these four here. So, that is equal to 46.25. The meaning of this one is whenever outlook is equal to overcast, the answer is 46.25 here. Now, coming back to the last part, that is uh, whenever outlook is equal to rain, we have five examples here. So, we need to uh, identify one attribute as a root node and then we need to start building the tree here. So, for that reason, I have considered outlook is equal to uh, rainy here. There are five examples are there. We need to calculate the global standard deviation for this data set, which is equal to 10.87 in this case. This is the standard deviation for what? The right subtree. Now, uh, once you calculate the global standard deviation, we need to consider these three attributes. I should not consider outlook because it's already considered. For these three attributes, we need to calculate the standard deviation and then the weighted standard deviation and then we need to calculate the uh, reduction in standard deviation here. So, I will continue with the temperature here. Temperature has uh, two possibilities that is cool and mild. For both of them, the standard deviation is written here and the number of instances are, is also written. Now, based on the standard deviation, we calculate the weighted standard deviation, which is equal to 10.19 here. And the standard deviation reduction is 10.87, that is the global standard deviation for the right hand side, minus 10.19, uh, that is the weighted standard deviation, which is equal to 0.67 in this case. Similarly, we will do it for humidity. Uh, humidity has two possibilities, that is high and normal. 7.50 and 12.50 are the standard deviation for these two things and the number of instances are 2 and 3 here. Weighted standard deviation is 10.50 uh, 
and the standard deviation reduction is 0.37. Similarly, whenever outlook is equal to rain and wind, there are wind has two possibilities that is weak and strong. We have calculated the standard deviation. Also, we have calculated the weighted standard deviation. Based on that, we have calculated the standard deviation reduction, which is equal to 7.62 here. Now, uh, we will compare the standard deviation reduction in this case. Uh, the wind has the highest uh, standard deviation reduction. The meaning is wind will be considered the root uh, node here. So, for this side, wind will be considered here. Now, when you consider wind as the root node, how many possibilities are there? Weak and strong are the two possibilities. So, we need to create two branches here. Weak is the one branch and strong is the another branch here. So, whenever it is weak, we have three examples. Whenever it is strong, we have two examples here. So, that is what I have written in this case. So, when outlook is equal to rain and wind is equal to weak, we have three examples. So, rather than building tree from here onwards, what we do is we will apply the pruning technique and then we will take the uh, average here 45 plus 52 plus 46 divided by 3. That will be the answer here. In On the right hand side, 23 plus 30 divided by 2. That will be the answer over here. So, uh, once you do the calculation, you will get the final tree something like this. This is how we can build the regression tree whenever we have been given a target variable with the real values. I hope the concept of regression trees in machine learning is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.